My father was in the hospital now with COVID for 50 days. It was very frustrating. He was all alone. And then at some point we got these devices and it was incredible. I had a little niece of about five, six years old that was very attached to my father. They lived in the same house. And I have this vision every time I checked on them, she was just sitting and watching. And when he would open his eyes and see her, he would smile and he would wave to her. Once my little niece came running to my sister and she said, Ma, Zaidi pulled the, his oxygen off his nose and it's very dangerous. It was incredible that she understood what she's, what she's looking out for. And I called the floor and they said, oh, we were just by him 10 minutes ago, which was the truth. She had seen them and as soon as they had walked out, he had pulled his oxygen off. And without his oxygen, his, his oxygen level would go down into the 70s, which is a, a lethal level to, to live with. The hospital took very good care of him. But still, the fact is that the nurses were instructed to spend as little time exposed to any patient that is confirmed COVID because they have a lot of proof that the longer that you're exposed to someone with the virus, your rate of getting infected is much higher. So all these people were alone, dying alone. And the WellTap took away that pain for the family and for the patients of making it a little more bearable. It gave him a lot of koyach and also to my mother, because on day 50, he actually passed away. And the only thing that my mother had for this whole 50 days was seeing him through this tablet. It was something that I'll never forget. I went on calls one after another, and people said, we're not going to the hospital. And they were withholding life-saving care from their family members because they were frustrated. On every call, I got used to it. I said, don't worry. I'm gonna get you a camera, you're gonna be able to talk to them. Said, okay, we'll go. It was literally a phone call of five words. This is the person, this is the contact, they need it, they need it now. And I never heard from it again, it was taken care of. So the hospitals have all eased up with the regulations, but no one is allowing people to be with patients around the clock. This is like a new future. People that are alone, they feel lost, they feel afraid, they have no appetite, and they don't want to eat, and especially people with cancer, they need a lot of encouragement. Medically, I say it's a lifesaver. I just want to uh, express my appreciation to the people that are running this organization. You know, I'm a solo member. My mitzvah is tainted with a lot of good feeling. I go home at night, I know I just did CPR, I saved somebody's life. Then you have these, these angels that are behind the scenes that were there for me. Thank you. Thank you to all these Sadiqim.